Christianity is not so much a life we live for Christ, it's a life he lives in us. It's a relationship of being loved by him, obedient to him, and dependent on him. The scriptures are a prime means of developing this relationship, for every part of it leads to Christ. But Jesus once criticized the Jews for seeing the Bible as an end in itself. He said, you diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me that you might have life. You see, they were studying the Bible for principles and rules to live by, rather than for a living, fruitful relationship with God, which is the source and substance of Christian living and must be the end result of all true biblical exposition. My name is Charles Price. I was born in Herefordshire in the United Kingdom. When I was 12 years old, I came to Christ after seeing a Billy Graham movie, which was centered around one of his outreaches in Australia. In my early days as a Christian, I had an appetite for the things of God, but in practice, this amounted to trying to live for Christ in my own strength. And what followed was several years of frustrating attempts to live the Christian life without God's help. It felt like I was trying to push a bus up a hill without using the engine. But that all changed when I came to understand that Christ actually lived within me. As Paul wrote, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I discovered it's not about what I would do for him, but what Christ will do in and through me. After this, I spent 26 years preaching and teaching in many parts of the world. I was based at Cape May Hall in England, and in later years became the principal of Cape May Bible School. Then we came to the People's Church in Toronto, Canada, a multinational congregation which grew to around 4,500 people in attendance each week, with sermons broadcast on television to over 70 countries around the world. The primary question I asked myself when preparing a sermon is how does this message leave people dependent on God? We don't just need information, or a to-do list, or some self-help process to apply. We need to go to a place where we trust in God himself to be at work in our lives and situations. That's the object and purpose of this ministry. The work of Christ in the Christian life can be said to be threefold. Christ for you, Christ in you, and Christ through you. Christ for you is his work on the cross reconciling us to God. Christ in you is his present work in dwelling by his Holy Spirit, those who trust him. And Christ through you is his outflowing in service to others. If we understand and embrace these three elements, everything else will flow from that. We have developed this website and app to make available decades of my teaching of the Bible in video, audio, and written form searchable by scripture, sermon series, topics, and themes with fresh devotional material relevant for you every day. It's a place to help you grow in your dependence on God and your experience of the living Christ.